Um, what what have you guys found out about health, and why do you take your health so importantly? Um, I guess part of my story is the vaccine. You know what I mean? Um, being vaccinated, I learned a lot more about the vaccination and how it's affecting a lot of people medically these days. And because I was vaxxed, uh, you know, um, my health became a major priority where, you know, a lot of people are on myocarditis and a lot of other things, blood clotting. Um, it's affecting people. So I wanted to find a way to kind of heal myself. And so I started recently doing martial arts and I take natural based products to cleanse my system. So that's where Travis and I kind of had a discussion on that. And you never got vaxxed, right? Uh, no, not beyond elementary school. What did you have when you were in element elementary school? Uh, just your regular, uh, school shots that most kids get but even so i'm in my 40s now so when i was in elementary school there was even less shots then so uh when my my son is he'll be 21 this year and when he entered uh kindergarten for the first time uh the school said that he had to get his vaccinations and i said well i don't want him to take all these shots and they're like well if you want him to go to public school he has to get vaccinated yeah. so i tried to uh has to yeah he has he mm -hmm. has to get i don't vaccinated. believe that at all and so um i talked to a, a buddy of mine and he said well you can get a religious exemption for him and I'm, I'm not a religious person but he said you can still use that as a way to circumvent the vaccine mandates and so my son has never been vaccinated and i've i've always just been very cautious of vaccines uh even flu vaccines and um i come from a a, a southern family my grandmother raised me and she's just more holistic and she's she's a gardener and try to find natural remedies for stuff um and so we've never been really big on like prescription drugs or vaccines and stuff now that was we didn't deal with like we in northeast pa because you grew up here yeah right did you ever hear about like, hey, let's grow a garden, let's heal, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. just just the the distance between where both of you grow up, and it's not even that far, it's like a day, well, it's not really a day trip, but you can get there in a day, totally different ways of dealing with health mm -hmm. and and mind, body, spirit stuff. Right. Do, you, do you, like, have you found that like, in this area, it's kind of lacking the understanding of I, like what Travis's community. I, I think grew it up is. With. I think it is now. But growing up, I mean, I'm much older. I'm you know 58. So uh, you know, I grew you're up. You're not fucking 58. Are I, you 58? You look, 58. You look great for oh, 58, bro. Yeah. You're not 58, really? Yeah, yeah I am. Yeah. 58. Is it root? <laughs> I, I, mean, I think so. If I want to make a plug, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about root a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah. So I mean, growing up because of my age, my gra my grandparents raised me for the most part in Dunmore. I'm from Dunmore. So, um, they had gardens, you know, so I grew up with more healthy type foods and, you know, living that way. But I think today our generation or the younger kids or, you know, the younger couples that are raising kids today just don't have time. Both parents are working, you know, uh, it's a much different world today. So, uh, you know, unfortunately we're eating more supermarket type foods and vegetables and, uh, fruits from supermarkets that are obviously sprayed with pesticides and herbicides you know, herbicides and, and yeah. things that are killing us Yeah, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Yeah. So I would consider this room, the people in this room kind of, I wouldn't say red pilled 